Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to use an in instant experience but not use it as an ad, actually use it as a post. So let's get into today's video. My name is Brandon Brashears, I create daily marketing videos so if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions at all be sure to comment down below. This video was actually a question that kept coming up so I wanted to make a specific video on how to do this. In another video I talked about how to use an instant experience for an ad. But in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly step-by-step step what to do to use an instant experience to post and create a post with it. Now, a few things to remember, instant experiences are only available on mobile, but that being said, you'll still be able to reach your mobile fans of your Facebook page with this instant experience. So what we're gonna do is jump into the computer, we're gonna walk through step-by-step step exactly what to do, the different things that you're gonna to wanna to consider when setting up an instant experience, and um, then I'm gonna show you how to post it instead of using it for an ad. Let's jump into the computer. Hey there, buddy. I wanna show you exactly step-by-step step how to go and create a post that is an instant experience. So creating an instant experience for the purpose of an organic post, not for an ad. Let's run through it right now. So when you're logged in, you need to number one, have access to a Facebook page. You need to be an editor or higher as far as permissions go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the more button, you're gonna head on over to publishing tools. Now this is just a, an example page that I wanted to show you. And um, you're gonna then click on the instant experience canvas button down here. You're then gonna wanna go here and create. Now you can do different placements. You have Facebook or Instagram that are showing you previews of. Um, and again, this is only visible on mobile items. So desktop doesn't show it. You won't be able to see it on desktop. So when you publish it, you need to gonna have to go back and check it on your mobile phone but you can add all kinds of components so i'll show you um some examples here i'll say hello thanks for watching and also you should subscribe if you're trying to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing so open and let's add a picture why not upload a photo It's just uh, an example, okay? So I'm gonna hit save, and then I'm going to publish it. Now you can send a mobile preview to both of your devices, um, but you hit finish, okay? Now we, it's finished. There's a few different ways that we can take this, what we've just created, and publish it. So we can create a page post, and when you're here, you can add pictures or a cover picture, or you can add a video, and then people can engage. So if you're creating content, and you're asking people to sign up for a form, that form can then be attached to that piece of content, which is kind of cool. You can do messenger stuff, you have all of the same post type things. Um, you can then hit share now. And now it shares and it's live and you've published your instant experience onto your th your Facebook page or your Instagram. Now here's a few things really quick that are gonna help you. Number one, um, you have all of these elements that I think are really, really valuable. Um, think about how people use instant experiences and how people engage on site and use that data to make something that's gonna be very intuitive and very helpful. The next thing that I think is important is to, to think about again you have that multimedia when you when you go and you create a post and you can do that again by clicking now you have the post url and you can click create post here and you can make another one but think about the most native ways to do this how people are engaging with content and what you can do to make it even more effective um, and that's going to help you i think in general now one quick tip is if you've spent a ton of time building something, you wanna test it on different platforms, you wanna add or subtract from it, because once you've posted it and finished it, you can't change it. You can click on the button, then you can hit duplicate, and now you'll be able to duplicate the canvas without having to start from scratch. So that's helpful, very helpful in general. So listen, I hope this was helpful. Let's jump into the, the office really quick and we'll finish it up now. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, again, comment down below. And as always, be sure to subscribe and I make daily marketing videos here. So if you're again looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you on the next video.